a common percentage question is about cost, uh, market price, and also the selling price. So we always use this kind of graph to understand the procedure. This case, uh, they tell you that the cost is five thousand six hundred. And then the laptop is sold a discount of 30%. So we are talking about from the market price in the price set, we give some discount and become the real transaction price, the selling price. So now it's given that the discount is 30%. That means from the market price, we deduct 30%, we will become the selling price. And the percentage loss is 20%. Whenever we talk about gain some money or lose some money, we are uh, looking at from the shop owner side. So the original cost lost 20% will become the real transaction price that we receive. So this is minus 20% this time. The relation is really clear. Uh, our target is get back the market price here. So from 5,600, we can get the second price. From the selling price, we can chase back to get the market price. So we just write down from the cost, and then we deduct twenty percent from original one time. Then it will give us the selling price. Now the cost is given, so we replace the item cost by five thousand six hundred. Therefore, we get the selling price is four four eight zero. Afterward, we look at right hand side from the market price. Uh, this happened and then become the result selling price. So we should write down from the market price, and then we deduct thirty percent, give thirty percent discount. Finally, we will become the real transaction price selling price. Don't change any subject in your mind. You just list out the relation directly. And then now, uh, we know the selling price is 4480, so I replace this item, but not this item, by 4480. So 4480 here. This becomes 0 0.7 times. And therefore, if we want the multiplies, I don't want this factor. What we are going to do should be both sides divided by 7 po uh, 0 0.7. It's not multiplication or not related to plus 30%. It gives you 6,400. That's the multiplies. Repeat once again, the opposite of a multiplier should be division, but not change it to plus 30%. They are not equivalents. 